guys. Welcome to our channel. Civil Engineering Guru. Hope you all are fine. As you all know that our discussion is about surveying. So today our topic is traverse and surveying. So move towards our today's topic. Definition. Traversing. Is that type of survey. In which a number of connected survey lines. Form the framework. And the directions. And lengths of the survey lines. Are measured with the help of an angle measuring instrument. And tape or chain respectively. Types of surveying. There are two types of traverse surveying. They are. Closed traverse. Open traverse. Closed traverse. When the lines form a circuit, which ends at the starting point, it is known as a closed traverse. Open traverse. When the lines form a circuit ends elsewhere except starting point, it is said to be an open traverse. Suitability. The closed traverse is suitable for locating the boundaries of lakes, woods, etc. and for a survey of large areas. The open traverse is suitable for surveying a long narrow strip of land as required for a road of the canal or the coastline methods of traversing there are several methods of traversing depending on the instruments used in determining the relative directions of the traverse lines the following are the principal methods chain traversing chain and compass traversing transit types traversing Plane table traversing, chain traversing. The method in which the whole work is done with chain and tape is called chain traversing. No angle measurement is used and the directions of the lines are fixed entirely by linear measurements. Angles fixed by linear or time measurements are known as chain angles. The method is unsuitable for accurate work and is generally used if an angle measuring instruments such as a compass, sextant, or theodolite is available. Chain and compass traversing. In chain and compass traversing, the magnetic bearings of the survey lines are measured by a compass, and the lengths of the lines are measured either with a chain or with a tape. The direction of the magnetic meridian is established at each traverse station independently. The method is also known as a tree or loose needle method traversing by fast needle method the method in which the magnetic bearings of traverse lines are measured by a theodolite fitted with s compass is called traversing by fast needle method the direction of the magnetic meridian is not established at each station but instead the magnetic bearings of the lines are measured with a reference so that direction of the magnetic meridian Established at the first station, there are three methods of observing the bearings of lines. By fast needle method. Direct method with transiting. Direct method without transiting. Back bearing method. Traversing by direct observation of angles. In this method, the angles between the lines are directly measured by a theodolite. And the magnetic bearing of other lines can be calculated in this method. The angles measured at different stations may be either included angles, deflection angles, traversing by included angle. An included angle at a station is either of the two angles formed by two survey lines meeting there, and these angles should be measured clockwise. The method consists simply in measuring each angle directly from a back site on the preceding station. The angle may also be measured by repetition. The angles measured from the back station may be interior or exterior, depending on the direction of progress. Traverse by deflection angles. A deflection angle is an angle in which a survey line makes with the prolongation of the preceding line. It is designated as right or left as it is measured clockwise or anti clockwise from the prolongation of the previous line. This type of traversing is more suitable for the survey of roads, railways, pipelines, etc. where the survey lines make small deflection angles. If you guys like our today's video, then like, comment our today's video, and subscribe our channel, Civil Engineering Guru.